after some father-son tag team building, the globe is finished and looking amazing. This is probably the sketchiest thing I've ever done, but there's a little spin action for you. I'm gonna get it going a little bit, then I'm gonna step back so they can see it. Ready? Here we go. That's pretty darn cool. You ready to celebrate our victory? With a crushing defeat, of course. Oh my God. I'm doing 12 bit chaos out here. There you are. Barely. No. Oh, so close. I want a rematch. <laughs> Clark's whooping on me, dude. I want to I want a rematch on that. Stop getting me in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so easy. No you. Psychops spam on Storm. Got you, boy. Got you. Never confront the one who controls nature itself. Ah. Good game. Good game. All around. Good games all around. Any big plans for today, Clark, man? Other than going to the dentist? Not really. Oh, I just noticed. You got a pretty substantial milk mustache right now. Mustache. A little bit, yeah. Mm. Want me to go get a wet paper towel or something? No, I want you to miss the bus, please. I won't miss the bus. I'll make it snappy. <laughs> Can't be sending a kid to school with a milk mustache. A little mustachio. You scared my favorite bird away. Scared your favorite bird away? Yeah. You have a favorite bird? Yeah, my favorite bird in nature. What is it? Robins. Oh. I like the yellow on her chest. Mine's a pterodactyl. I love you. You have a glorious day, sir. Have the greatest single day of first grade that man's ever seen. Okay. All right. Have a good one, bud. Love ya. Another day, another bus. Welcome, everyone. To Home Alone with Greg. First order of business today. Got two videos edited, both somewhat covering the same things, but one going on my Lego channel, one going on the channel you're watching right now, both about to be exported. Well, that's doing its thing. I thought I would work on my improvement of the day and the improvement of today is cleaning out that chicken coop right there for these guys. Oh God. <sighs> I knew it. Escapees. Roxy's like, dad, is this, is this supposed to be happening right now? Sonny's like, yep. I know how to get out. Foxy bear, you drop that, <laughs> you little weasel. <laughs> All these animals are conspiring against me. She tried taking that. I just got all this mulch back in the other day. Go on, get a whole yard out here, go do stuff. Other than eating cat food. I haven't pulled eggs out of here in a little bit. I imagine there's quite a few inside there. Oh my God. Should probably have gloves on for things like this but you know i've just kind of accepted my place in life broody come on are you uh are you just chilling i'm just gonna let her there i guess until uh until she decides to come out she is such a unit look at her looks like we're gonna be making some pickled eggs today boys <laughs> This is jackpot. You're wondering why I don't have nesting boxes or something like that for my chickens. I've tried before. I've tried different things and this is what they do. They find a little corner in here and this is where they lay their stuff. So, you know, I, it, it's been what they've done for the last eight years, nine years now. It's hard to break that. Now that we got that all cleared out, we take this shovel and you just kind of start scooping. George. Mellow Cat is like, what is happening out here right now? Oh, hey. No. Get out of there. Here's how I'm going to save my mulch. Got to get a distraction going on out here. OK. 
Okay, you ready? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Galactus. There you go. That should do it. Yeah, come on, you're missing out. Come on. All down there, go get some. Go get some. Usually just bring this down here to the bottom of the yard and I uh, just dump it over the fence here, make a nice little, little lineup. And it just kind of degrades and breaks away. Oh yeah, that's a nice nesting box. Maybe Mello will be willing to donate that to the Chickyongs. What's in there? <laughs> Much better. Now for my plan to get the chickens back. Very simple. These are a delicacy in the chicken universe. Eight. Oh, take two. Okay. Take three. Yikes! There you go. One for you. Oh, you're not a chicken. Easy as that. Everybody's back in. Happy chickens. Got a little exploration in. I got a coop clean, whole crap ton of eggs, and some raking to do to get the mulch back. Don't you guys love it when one job turns into two? Say it once and I'll say it again. Freaking chicken. It's passable. <laughs> What's going on in there? Jeez. Trauma queen. She's like, where's all my eggs? Oh, someone else in there too. Yeah, it's a little different, a little cleaner, a lot cleaner, no eggs. If you're watching this and you're on the fence about having chickens, like you see what kinds of pains in the butts they are, how noisy they are, all that stuff. Also think about how just, how loving they are. Look at Tom here. Okay, maybe don't think about how loving they are. Think about the eggs they produce and how they eat all your kitchen scraps and stuff like that. Like they're pretty, uh, they're pretty self-sufficient animals for the most part. Don't require a whole lot of care. I don't have anything. They definitely like eating snacks though. So make sure you have lots of snacks, corn, uh, fruits, vegetables, anything that they can eat, they will eat. Rox is like, are you done, dad? I'm bored out here. Yeah, I'm done there. A little something for the Rexy beer. There you go. Nice. Two things. This is a rather precarious filming situation. You guys are on the footrest, but I'm gonna open these things up, figure out what we got here. I have no idea what this is. Amazon, you did us so dirty. Luckily, it doesn't matter too much because we're just gonna open it up anyway. But why in the world? First of all, this is a transformer. Give me that focus. This is blaster and eject. So he's like a boom box, but he's such a cool transformer. And this is gonna be an Easter present for Clark, man. But back to my rant. Why would you ship that in that? Why would you do that, Amazon? Like in what world does, does that make sense at all? So the box obviously got just decimated, but uh, yeah, he'll still enjoy it. Just takes away the the wow factor, I guess, the gift. But he's gonna rip right into it. So does it really matter? Probably not. Next, I'll show you the thing that I treated myself with. It was kind of expensive, but it was also on sale. This right here. I got myself some brand new. Headphones. These are Sennheiser HD 650 headphones. They are by far the most expensive headphones that I have ever purchased in my entire existence by a long shot. These were typically $350. I got them for like $309 on Amazon. And I got these because I just really wanted to have a great set of headphones. Not for listening to music, but for listening to gaming stuff. Live streams, I, I play with headphones on now. And I just thought, man, it would be so nice 
to have like the best sound in the game coming right into my ear holes. And I think these are gonna do just that. Shall we open them? Shall we do it? I'm trying to do this all one-handed like. And I think I'm doing pretty good, if I might say so. There is, there they are. How do they look? Pretty darn classy. My other pair of Sennheisers that I have, I wanna say they cost me like $50 or something like that. So this is quite the, the step up for me and I'm curious to see how they are. So I'll test those out on my next gaming stream and I will report back to you how I feel about them. They have this adapter that you plug in like that and that goes into what I typically use. But these are, this is what I think the serious people use. It's an XLR, um, uh, yeah. I think it's rather apparent that I'm quite the audio expert said no one ever. I bought these because a uh, guy that I watch on YouTube and I'm a big fan of, he uses these and he highly recommends them. So that's why I bought them. And I'm um, taking my stuff pretty seriously these days. So that was a gift to moi. And this crunched up little dude, that was a gift to the Clark man. When you go to boil water for pickled eggs and it gets a little out of hand, woo-wee! I do have a nice selection of eggs here and I have this awesome tool that Cody showed me to put eggs, I mean, some kind of works. Uh, to put eggs into boiling water, just like this. And uh, there they go. That was two of them. Even easier if the eggs are nearby and you're not doing it uh, just with one hand. I'm wondering now if I mentioned that I was making pickled eggs. That's what I'm making with these. And these. Right there is the rewards from all the work that we did today and a lot of work from our chickens that prove, even though they're menaces, they're nice to have around because you can make some pickled eggs and beets very easy to make. In fact, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like inside here. I've shown my pickled egg operation before, I think, so I kind of cut most of that out of the video because I don't think you want to see it every time. And we got a bunch of extra eggs as well from the, the chickions. So uh, well stocked in eggs and they're just going to keep coming as the days get longer and sunnier and warmer. It's going to be glorious. Speaking of glorious, Cody is picking up Clark Man from school right now because they have a dentist appointment, which means that I don't have to go pick him up. I don't have anywhere to go, which means that I can go take a nap because I stayed up pretty late last night working on a journal entry of all things. My first journal entry in about five years that if you dig deep enough in the description, you may be able to find, uh, but it's a new project that I'm working on and I'm excited about. And uh, yeah, I'm I gotta catch up from that. So nappy time for me, and uh, maybe I'll see you right after this. Actually, since this is a chicken-inspired episode, why don't we hook them up for all of the things that they do for us with some pineapple that I cut up while I was waiting for the eggs. My thank yous, chickions. Oh, that could have went better. Let's flip these over for you guys. They're like, where's their corn? Where's the crackers? What is this fruit? Emily, get back in there. Let's get this door closed and let's go take a nap.